Uncle told me something about a train. Uh, what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Uh, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we do it? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Alrighty, looks like we're robbing another train, guys. Um, welcome to episode 11. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. And let's get it started today. John, alright, so we need to steal some weapons uh, for this train robbery. So let's get to that. Where are we going with this? Holy shit, way over here. You guys really want to mess around? You're done! Horrors. Uh oh, they're finding me. Oh, they didn't see me. I 
was easy. Am I spilling? Yeah, I'm spilling. Hopefully that doesn't matter. as it's leaking all over. Yeah. Tell John back to camp the wagon is in position. Alrighty. Hi Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So we gotta take the the boy fishing. See if we can catch some fish with him. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You wanna come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. I mean, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Nope. Where'd the fishing pole go? Oh, better see if we can find the kid's storybook at some point. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? Alright. Do we have a fishing reel now? Cheese? Cheese? The better. Now, 
cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. I don't wanna throw it too I don't wanna throw it too far. Press R2 to hook the fish when you yeah, feel a bite. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Fish on the line. Pull him in! Good pull. Hey. You got one. You gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear them out first before you try to reel them in. Oh, let's keep her. Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. Some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. What? Just pick some red flowers. I'm trying to take you fishing, dude. Look at that spot. Fish it attracted to the bay will often nibble before taking them. There, got him. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling them in nice and steady. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Got another. This one's a rock bass. Not bad. I'm just gonna say one pound. I don't know. Alright, let's go see what the kid's doing. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just you sit, wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. I think it's going to be oh. Whoop, I think I got one. to throw it back but just threw it on the shore hey, look at this the what this necklace i made necklace for mama sure what a fine young man and in such complex circumstances arthur isn't it arthur uh -oh. morgan who are you yes arthur morgan vanderlyn's most trusted associate you've read the files typical case Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. You know a lot uh -oh. about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? 
For me? Gonna turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Oh, Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Path. That was nice. Oh, ain't that a little old fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. You have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent Till. Uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Who is Mac Callender? But mercy. <laughs> Enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. I don't want to chase him down. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Yep. Well, that was a nice fishing trip. Threatened by a couple of cops. Trying to get me to turn in Dutch. Shit just ain't gonna happen. Yep. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt me. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us. Protect you. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay. It was okay. <laughs> Thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross, Milton and Ross, and, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency, and they know about the train, and they know where he is. Well, you followed back here. No, they know we're near here. They want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Stay calm, I Alrighty, Captain. Well, 
least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, eh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Eh? Grow up. I didn't have any bullets coming in. Great. Don't be playing sure. coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. Hopefully they refill my ammo. You and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you, it ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by me? And my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light, your toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy son. <laughs> What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Let's get it. Damn. Let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so. Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I oh, shit. mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar that you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's excessive. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. They're left here, towards Rhodes. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now. In the gunner's seat. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a fool. Uh, I always used to say. Not the dog, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you, tree. Sulky, angry, scar face. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. So, we knocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles. You deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth, get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody. Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, 
Mr. McGuire! Ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. That's do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. gonna kill y'all. What am I supposed to do? I need to get up there. Finish up here and join us on board. Hey. Alright, get on that train! Foster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and let her get shot. Yeah. Yeah. Scope. Everything you got. Money. Valuable. Come on. Tell me the story. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Please. I'm not a bad man. Please don't help Stop me. me I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Anything. What's the problem here? Money. Hey. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Yep. Thanks. In the bag, everything we got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two oh, seem to think up. we're playing games. I want a cowboy. One, two. It ain't worth dying over. Tell him, Mr. M. the money. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sir Roberts. Let's make this quick. You might need me. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? Good job. You sure about that? I wish not. You sure about that? Son of a bitch, we ain't playing around here. Yep. I am at your best. Everything you got. Money. Valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. What is it now? Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. <laughs> Everything you got. Let's go. One whack over the head. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Mr. Deboyam. What is it? You alright? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? I have built the manual. You can now manually take enemies when aiming. Jumping on stuff and rob the thing. Arthur, we got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? Way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberals. Eh? There's a few more to turn enough. Damn <sighs> my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Oh, 
How do I manually tag him? Of the train, though. So I'm trying to get on my horse, dude. Let's go. I mainly do this. Alright, I looked it up and it's R1 to take enemies here. Badasses. The law have lost sight of you. Continue to invite them until they stop looking for you.
Well, that wasn't too bad the second time around. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Ho -ho! <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Now, hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine. See if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. You can follow. Uh, of course not, boss. All right, I think that'll do it for episode 11. Hope you guys are enjoying the series, and please leave a like and subscribe for more. Have a good day.